our last session deals with the country support uh, platform, which is really the mechanism through which GTFCC is, is looking to focus at countries, at supporting countries. Our first speaker is Dr. Emmanuel Capobianco, and he will tell us what the latest developments in the establishment of the country support platform is, please. Thank you very much and uh, warm greetings to you all uh, from, uh, from Geneva. Uh, IFRC and the Red Cross, uh, Red Cross and National Societies continue as strong advocates uh, of the Global Task Force on Cholera Control worldwide and at country level. We are thrilled to have been selected in October 2020 to host the Cholera Country Support uh, Platform on behalf of the GTFCC. And leveraging this new collaborative platform, we remain committed to, to contribute and deliver towards the, the achievement of the strategic access set out in the Cholera uh, Global Roadmap. The country support platform, as the operational arm of the GTFCC, strives to provide support directly to cholera affected countries through two mechanisms. First, responding to ad hoc requests um, to support any of the multi-sectoral pillars, and two, uh, providing longer term uh, country specific and, and tailored CSP support. The second mechanism will result in integrating a country support platform coordinator into national cholera control structures. Initially, the in-country support will focus on four countries, expanding to 12 countries by 2023. We are pleased that Bangladesh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Zambia have already formally accepted and the process is well advanced with Nigeria. The country support platform will provide multi-sectoral technical and operational support as well as advocacy, coordination and policy guidance necessary for countries to effectively develop, fund, implement and monitor their national cholera control plans, ensuring consistency and alignment with the cholera global uh, roadmap. The country support platform has been established with the support of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation through a grant to IFRC for an initial period of three years. We appreciate and uh, wish to commend the positive contribution and the collaborations we have had since the beginning of our mandate with different governments, various global health organizations, academia, national and civil society organizations. We are delighted to see important collaborations emerges, emerging with the Swiss Development Corporation and Wellcome Trust to support national cholera plans. However, greater efforts are necessary to overcome the, the challenges that, that remain. We call for all governments, humanitarian development actors, uh, academics, donors, and civil societies to continue to support the work to the Cholera Roadmap 2030. It is no longer a question or, of how or if we can do it. It is simply, it's simply a matter of commitment. And although the solution for color eliminations are well known, and we heard great examples from the panelists today on evidence-informed approaches, researchers, implementers, and funders need to continue working together to build on the existing evidence. This will enable us to effectively deliver tailored multi-sectoral, multi-year interventions to scale in cholera endemic uh, countries. In closing, the IFRC remains committed to continue coordinating, advocating, mobilizing resources and generating evidence together with other GTFCC partners and donors. The IFRC will also continue to call for a prioritization of SDG 6 and SDG 3 funding for increasing access to affordable and sustainable washer services and public health in cholera hotspots as key pillars to implement the cholera global roadmap. We pledged our technical assistance at national level to develop and implement national cholera control plans, strategies, and programs to achieve our common goals to end cholera. Thank you very much.